pleasure to be here this evening, and thank you all for coming here tonight. And Shelley, of course, it's wonderful to have an opportunity to share a stage with you yet again. I would just say to you this. This election really was summed up quite well in the last two articles in the most recent Daily Press. In today's op-ed piece, it said that the, arc, that the district had been redrawn to help favor a Democrat to win. And then it commented about people who had moved in the district and people who chose to stay in the district. And the thing is about in staying in this district, with the odds stacked against me, even with what the Daily Press wrote, it is about fighting for my hometown. I grew up here. I'm from here. My friends are here. My loved ones live here. My home is here. So I'm fighting for Newport News. And here are the results of what I've been fighting for. As chairman of transportation, I promised you when I got elected in 2011, we would get 64 widened on the peninsula. 64 is being widened on the peninsula. We needed a brand new Hampton Roads bridge tunnel. In just a few short years, we're gonna have a brand new Hampton Roads bridge tunnel. Five billion dollars in new transportation projects. But we're also investing in our community. Newport News Shipyard has a new foundry which has helped create 5,000 new jobs just this year alone. Yes, Gene, it's true. And enough work for an entire generation with two aircraft carriers and two submarines at the same time. But it's more than just that. It's education. Shelly and I agree. We've got to be able to find more money coming on the heels of the Great Recession to get more money into the classrooms. But we also have to be able to get more money to our school teachers. And I'm proud that I was able to help support that in this year's budget. And this year, we fought for a lot of things, but some of the things we fought for have been health care. And I did vote to pass a responsible version of Medicaid so that 400,000 people in Virginia can have access to quality health care. And I serve on the Health Insurance Reform Commission. This is the commission that looks for ways and innovative ways to bring down the cost of health care. And this year we did address some of those issues, including coupons that can be used towards bringing down the cost of prescriptions. And if I get to go back to Richmond, one of the bills that I'm going to do to fight the insurance companies, like I did working with Hampton University, so that we can have proton therapy opportunities for cancer treatment, is to be able to go to the insurance companies and say, we've got to help people when they pay their bills by not going after their credit rating when they're having struggles to be able to pay for their health insurance. There's a lot of things that we have to fight for. There's a lot of things we're going to continue to fight for. But one of the things that I was very proud to fight for this year, and one of the things I will fight for next year and introduce legislation on, is the Equal Rights Amendment. I broke with my party. I fought for the ERA. I voted for the ERA. And I'll fight again because I believe in opportunity. And that same kind of opportunity are those young children that I coach in high school rugby. They come from some of our toughest neighborhoods. They're sharing with me the concerns that they have about gun violence. And I've put in bills that go after the illegal trafficking of firearms. But I also know that we have to look at some of these red flag laws and say that there are people that are a danger to themselves and to others. But we have to do it in a responsible way that respects those folks' Fourth and Fourteenth Amendment rights to due process, but also says that if you file a false claim against somebody, that we're going to hold you accountable as well. These are the reasonable bipartisan consensus things that I've been working on for the last eight years, representing you and delivering the results that matter for my district and for my hometown of Newport News. Thank you for having me here tonight. Well, they've answered all my questions. <laughs>